With the third Jurassic World Evolution game in the, in the works, at least that is what we're assuming, the, the new animal possibilities are actually quite diverse. There are many different dinosaurs and various other creatures that have the opportunity to be added here. When Jurassic World Evolution 2 was released, it introduced the first flying reptiles and marine reptiles in the series, except for the Pteranodon that was introduced in Return to Jurassic Park back in Jurassic World Evolution. But there is so much um, potential here with this new game, and I would like to share just a couple of the new species that I would love to see added in Jurassic World Evolution 3. Dinosaurs. We're going to talk about a couple of carnivores, so my first option would be Mapusaurus, a large Carcharodontosaurine dinosaur from South America, followed by Yangchuanosaurus, an animal that had a very popular mod back in Jurassic World Evolution and was one of the largest predators in Asia during the late Jurassic. Ostroraptor would be another cool addition as a large dromaeosaur but also a piscivore, adding a bit of diversity in that area as well as the Beckel Spinax, also known as Alter Spinax, from Chaos Theory. This animal is a canonical species and would only make sense to be introduced. Some other predators include Rajasaurus, as we did not get any Abelosaurs um, post Carnotaurus and Majungasaurus. No, none of the um, family actually made it in, so Rajasaurus would actually be my top pick. It's an animal from India, and I don't believe we actually have any animals from India at this time. We also have Mape Macrothorax, a recently discovered Megaraptorine dinosaur that is the largest of its kind. We also have Holskoraptor. If swimming were to be introduced in this game, Holskoraptor is certainly an animal that comes to mind when you think of a swimming dinosaur that isn't a Spinosaur. Speaking of Spinosaurs, the Irritator, a very famous species of Spinosaur, would be a very cool addition with the, the new uh, findings on its jaw structure, I think it would be a very interesting animal to see. For some herbivores, we have Protoceratops, a very notable Ceratopsian from the late Cretaceous of Mongolia, as well as Psittacosaurus, another relative of Ceratopsians, if not a Ceratopsian itself, I cannot quite remember, but this is a very notable animal known as the Taco from games like the Isle, but it's, it's an iconic animal and I think Jurassic World Evolution would do well to add it in this third game. The Jardosaurus is one of the quirkiest of the sauropods, has a very interesting look and I think it would actually be a really cool animal to see. They are related to Amargosaurus and Amargosaurus is a pretty cool animal and I think the Jardosaurus would do well here as well. Stegaros is a recently discovered, so it, I think it's like supposed to be an intermediate ankylosaur between an ankylosaur and a stegosaur, however it is from the late Cretaceous so I'm assuming it's probably an ankylosaur. Either way, it's a Thyroforum with a very bizarre tail, and I would love to see it. Lambiosaurus is one of the most famous hadrosaurs of North America, and I would just love to see this guy. They're really cool in Prehistoric Kingdom, and I think Jurassic World Evolution could really get this guy. Ornithomimus, it would be cool to see a feathered Ornithomimid added to the game, as we have not, we've also had no new ones of these, and no new hadrosaurs as well. So, um... A new Ornithomimid with feathers would be a really cool addition. As well as some more small herbivores, Hypsilophodon is a very famous species from the early Cretaceous, and I think it would be a really cool addition. Not this King of Saxony bird of paradise looking um, Hypsilophodon from the Isle, but let's see if Fronty could put their own spin on it. Platyosaurus is another really cool herbivore from the late Triassic, and it would be a, it, it would be a very cool addition as we haven't really gotten any pro sauropods, if any at all, so this guy would be a very cool addition nonetheless. Moving on to flying species. With the park manager's collection pack potentially being the last pack, we didn't actually get to see a flying species pack. So here are some of the species I would love to see in this pack. Hatsugoptrix, one of the largest of the Ash Darkids, and personally probably my favourite of the Ash Darkids. This guy is a is an absolute titan, and I'd love to see this guy introduced. Prehistoric Planet really had a great design, and if some inspiration were to be taken from this design in Evolution 3, I would really love that. Velocidromius is another notable pterosaur that I would love to see in the game, a relative of Tapijara, but with personally a more interesting looking head. 
Rampharynchus is another cool pterosaur from from the Jurassic, with teeth, sort of designed like a fish trap to perfectly catch small fish from the ocean. This guy would be a cool new small pterosaur, as we haven't really gotten that many small pterosaurs. We got Jaeloptorus, and I think that was the last truly small pterosaur we got. So it'd be really cool to see this guy. And Pterodostra would probably be one of the most unique pterosaurs we could ever get, with a sieve like a like that of a baleen whale on it in its beak. I think that would be a really unique feature. Some non-dinosaur flies would include the Microraptor, a species that's currently in Prehistoric Kingdom, but it would be really cool to see it in Jurassic World Evolution 2. If not it, one of the other uh, flying dinosaurs like Confuciusornis or Archaeopteryx. Solorosauravus is a small lizard from the Permian. That would be a really cool addition as it glided through the treetops. There's also Meganeura, the giant dragonfly of the Carboniferous. Granted, the Averys would have to be stacked full of oxygen so this guy could live, but this guy would also be a really cool addition as it is the size of an eagle. And speaking of birds of prey, Argentavis, one of the largest birds ever known to have existed, would be a really cool addition. A relative of modern condors, this guy would be a great animal to see soaring through the Averys. Now moving on to the marine species. So some marine species that we could see in terms of reptiles include Prognathodon, one of the most notable mosasaurs of the Lake Cretaceous, as well as Basilosaurus, a mammal, but also a whale, which would be a really cool opportunity to add breathing animations at the surface, as the animals in the lagoons currently don't necessarily breathe at the surface rather than stay underwater for extended periods of time. Hesperornis would be another cool addition to utilize the land, as this animal is a bird and often has to come to land to rest, as they cannot spend their whole lives at sea. And Dacosaurus, a notable Jurassic marine reptile, that would be a really cool addition. A relative of crocodiles, this creature could have a really cool design. A few other species that are slightly more unique include Zephactinus, a carnivorous fish from the Lake Cretaceous that would really go, do well in like a Hell's Aquarium lagoon. Camaroceros, one of the largest of the Orthocones, an ancient group of cephalopods from the Ordovician and Silurian. This guy would be a great addition and would sort of finish off the sea monster's roster. Megalograptus is one of the most famous sea scorpions or Eurypterids, and I think this guy is iconic enough that Frontier may actually consider it. And lead sick these, the largest fish ever known to have existed, a filter feeder, but also a really cool addition that I could see the frontier adding. Now, Jurassic could move into a new era here and include Cenozoic species in the sequel, as the Smilodon was included in Camp Cretaceous, but we never actually got a Cenozoic DLC. So let's have a look at some of the possibilities. A few iconic species from the Pleistocene would include the Smilodon, featured in Camp Cretaceous Season 4, the Woolly Mammoth, a very famous species of the Ice Age, the Megatherium, one of the largest of the ground sloths, and the Deidocurus, an armoured tank relative of armadillos with a club tail. Some other additions would include the famous terror bird, in this case a Kellenken, the Andrusarchus, a relative of whales, assumedly, as we only have one jawbone. Megaloceros, a very famous species of giant deer from the, from the Pleistocene era. This guy would be a really cool prey animal for this sort of scenario of Cenozoic animals. And the woolly rhino, a very notable animal also from the Ice Age. And onto the topic of habitat reptiles. So if, if water depth were to be changed, and actually given as a good feature in Jurassic World Evolution 3. Well, I say good feature, as a substantial feature. This would give our players the opportunity to create real rivers and lakes and all that sort of stuff. And there are certain animals that could really inhabit those areas. Species would include the Dinosuchus, one of the largest of the crocodilians ever known to have existed hunting dinosaurs, and out of all the crocodiles, the Dinosuchus is perhaps the most requested. Megalania, a large Varanus um, species from Australia. Varanus is a monitor lizard, 
And these guys would be a really cool addition, having the largest lizard and one of the largest crocodilians, as well as the largest snake. Titanoboa is an animal that people have wanted to see in the Jurassic franchise for quite a long time. And I think Jurassic World Evolution 3 could really add it if water depth were to be introduced, as animating a giant snake on land would be a bit difficult, but giving it the ability to swim in water I think would make it a little bit of a slightly easier task, I cannot say for sure. But Titanoboa would be a cool addition nonetheless. Another species from the Cenozoic would be the Baronosuchus, one of the largest non-mammal non predators of the Cenozoic. This guy would be a really cool addition as sort of a land crocodilian sort of animal. And I'd really love to see this guy introduced. He could be sort of like a pack hunter of the Cenozoic roster. Some other reptiles would include the Inostransavia, a Gorgonopsid from the Permian that is probably one of my favourite prehistoric creatures of all time. I think they're just so cool and I'd love to see them introduced in this game. Postosuchus is also a famous reptile from the Triassic and was made famous by walking with dinosaurs even though its posture has somewhat changed since, the, since 1999. Lysowesia is a large relative of Lystrosaurus that lived in the southern hemisphere and I would just love to see a, a larger Dicynodont in the game as these guys are really cool and were really widespread and would really good, add a sort of large prey aspect to the Permian animals. Although I think this guy may have lived in the Triassic, I'm not quite sure. Simosuchus is our last consideration in, in this video as I will do a more expanded video for each of these uh, departments of animals. Um, as, and Simosuchus is one of the cutest little animals that you could ever see in prehistory. The pug crocodile of Madagascar, I think it's too good to miss. Jurassic World Evolution 3 certainly has a lot of potential in its roster, and we're just scratching the surface with some of these species. I'll be doing a specific video for each of these areas of animals, the dinosaurs, the flying rep well just the regular reptiles, and the Cenozoics to really expand on how far this roster could reach. And yeah, there's certainly a lot of animals that could be considered, particularly for the habitat reptiles and Cenozoics, and even the dinosaurs, surprisingly. We've gotten a lot of dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2, but I think Jurassic World Evolution 3 can introduce a lot of famous species as well. But let me know what your wish list for animals in Jurassic World Evolution 3 is. What kind of creatures do you think they'll add in this new game? And yeah. There's still a long way to go until Jurassic World Evolution 3 would be a complete game for release. Like, it's it's sort of expected to somewhat, to potentially come out around the new movie, which is set to come out next year. Whether they'll actually make that deadline, I am not sure. But there is a lot of potential here, and I cannot wait to see what they come up with. I will be doing a speculation video for the features that could be in, in this game as well. So keep your eyes out for that. And yeah, there are just as many features that can be introduced as there are species. So yeah, hold on to your butts and let's enjoy the anticipation and speculation for Jurassic World Evolution 3. And as for now, I'll see you all in the next video.